The following is a video originally posted by Mr. Sakai Mali. It has been modified as the original head fairy. Weak audio. However, the original message has not been changed. Additionally, I have lowered the volume of the audio as at 435 by 75%. This audio did not contain any information, but was considerably louder than the rest of the video. I would also like to add a preface that a person named as Sakazimala has been twice arrested under the Australian Anti-Terrorism Act. Furthermore, the identified individual travelled to Syria during the Syrian Civil War, although he did claim to only four non-combat roles. Hey guys, this is me, Zaki Mala here from the Islamic community in Sydney, New South Wales. And this message is to my friends from the ADL, Australian Defence League. Guys, um, you are a joke, in all honesty. Your protests, your putrid organisation, your leaflets, your get-togethers, your meetings, protests, going to the mosque and putting up leaflets around poles and saying, you know, Islam is evil, Islam is this. Guys, no effect. It is of no effect. Islam's been attacked for the past 10 years and you guys have started to grow some balls in the past couple of weeks to decide to take on you know, the Islamic community in Sydney, Greater Australia, globally. You guys are just like the EDL, English Defence League. It's just as future as them. And the uh, one who, who, you know, the one who founded, the founder of uh, the EDL, <laughs> defected and saw how racist the EDL was, a group, an organisation which he himself created, Tommy Robinson. He himself defected from the very same group he created. And now you guys are growing some balls here in Sydney, trying to be like the EDL, trying to have a mouthpiece on yourselves, trying to extend your tongue, your bitter tongue of hatred towards the Islamic community. Guys, you are just sick. He's a putrid, white, racist, putrid thugs. You guys have no place in Australia. All ADL members in Australia have no place to be here. You guys should be sent back to Britain like the convicts that you guys are. This country is multicultural. Australia is multicultural. It's a country where everyone is free to express their views, uh, free to practice their religion, are free to come to this country, no matter what their backgrounds are, no matter what religion they're from, no matter what language they speak. This country is great because it's multicultural. But when you have thugs like you guys, the ADL and the EDL, when you thugs start to grow a ball, start to grab some balls and start to talk with your bitter language, your language of hatred towards a particular race or a particular faith, then you guys are expecting trouble. And I hope that the uh, government here is, is getting onto this sooner than later because you guys are breeding a bad, evil seed. You are, got, you are opening a bad can of worms here. And if anything happens, if retaliation takes place because of your bigotry, because of your hatred, your inciting of violence, then you guys are to blame for this. Going to the Kemba Mosque and putting up posters and leaflets and pamphlets or giving them out or wrapping them around poles and sticker taping them saying Islam is evil, no Sharia in Australia, whatever. You guys are calling for trouble. So you guys better get your act together. You guys better withdraw from your stupidity, from your you know wicked un-Australian actions before things get out of hand. Right? We are not perfect. The Islamic community have their issues have their problems, yes we do, just like everyone else has, but when you create more hatred, when you create more, when you create more and, and breed more hatred, and not just hatred, when you create an element um, that justifies attacking a religion, a specific sect, then that religion, then that specific sect is going to rebel and it's going to retaliate against the very same group or sect that uh, created this mess, this hate. So guys, 
is better back up and back up very very fast yeah because you guys are starting to create the hatred that is not welcomed here in Australia and you guys are responsible for whatever consequences comes out of this peace